Today, we're going to be learning about the vertex form of a quadratic equation. The vertex form of a quadratic equation is written like this, where a, h, and k are numbers. It's important to note that the quadratic equation can actually be written in different ways other than the vertex form, such as the standard form and the factored form. We'll get around to those forms later on, but for now, let's pay special attention to this very useful vertex form. All right, the beauty of the vertex form is already hinted to us through its name. In this form, it is especially easy for us to identify the vertex. The vertex is simply h, k. So let's put some numbers into this to try an example. What would the vertex be here? Well, if you reference this, we can see that it would be h and k, which is 2 and 1 in this example. But be careful not to say that the vertex is negative 2, 1, because the vertex is actually 2, 1. If you thought that the h was equal to negative 2, you should try substituting negative 2 into h, and you'd find yourself getting x minus minus 2, which equals x plus 2. And of course, that would be entirely different from what we're looking for. So let's try another question. Identify the vertex from the following quadratic equation. Well, we can see that this equation is definitely written in the vertex form. So our a is equal to 1, and our h is equal to negative 1. Remember that the form is written as x minus h, meaning that it would technically have to be x minus negative 1 to give us this x plus 1 that we see here. And our k is equal to negative 4. Thus, our vertex would be negative 1, negative 4. Oh, and by the way, would this vertex be a minimum or a maximum? Well, if you remember correctly, the vertex is a minimum if the a is positive, and the vertex is a maximum if our a is negative. Since the a is equal to 1 here, which is positive, we know that we are looking at a graph that opens upwards. Awesome! Another cool thing about the vertex form is that it helps us to find the line of symmetry, or shall I say, the axis of symmetry, quite easily. We know that the vertex is in the dead middle of the parabola, so naturally, all points to the left of it are mirrored onto the right side as well, with the imaginary middle line being the imaginary reflection point. This imaginary middle line, which is more properly known as the axis of symmetry or the line of symmetry, can be found by simply writing x equals h, where h refers to the horizontal translation of our quadratic equation. In this example of the quadratic equation, our h was minus 1. Thus, the line of symmetry is x equals minus 1 for this parabola. It's as simple as that. Great! So we encourage you to practice identifying each variable and finding the vertex of other equations. Now you know that it is convenient for us to find the vertex of a graph when we have the vertex form of a quadratic equation. So that's it for this video. We will see you guys in the next one.